Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this 3D animation using PixCap. PixCap is an online 3D platform using which you can create 3D animations and assets which can be used in video games, web applications or on social media. It is very easy to use and it has lot of features. So let's jump into PixCap and see how to use it. So PixCap is an online platform and in order to use it, all you need is a web browser and an internet connection. You don't have to install any kind of software on your system. You can access everything from your browser itself. Now PixCap has both free and pro plans and if you want to get started, then you can sign up with the free version. But if you want to have some extra functionality, then you can sign up using the pro plan as well. And if you want to get 20% off on the pro subscription, then you can sign up using the link in the description and you will get 20% off. You can also see that right now they have access to the pro assets for a very limited time under the free subscription. So if you want, you can sign up using the link in the description below. So after logging into PixCap, you can get access to all the 3D models that are available over here. Some of them are free, some of them are under pro subscription. You can also access these scenes which are pre-made and you can use them in whatever ways you want. Now in order to use them, you can create a new project. So all you have to do is just click on this my projects folder and after that you can click on new project and it will take you inside the PixCap editor. So let's see how this works. So like any other 3D software, you can move around this by simply holding down the Alt key and just click and drag to rotate around the scene or you can click the middle mouse button to move here and there. Now in the scene, you can add any element. So all you have to do is just click on this add and from here you can see we have a bunch of different objects. So for this one, I'm going to select the text and right away you can see we have our text. Now if you want to move it, you can click on these icons to move it here and there. Just like any other software, you can press Ctrl Z or Command Z on Mac to undo this and you can click over here if you want to move this freely. Now if you want to scale this up, then you can click over here and you can get access to different tools and you can scale it along the whatever axes you want, X, Y or Z. In the same way, you can rotate it however you want, just like that. Now if you want to edit this text, all you have to do is just go under this edit panel and from here we can select our text. Now you can type whatever you want. For this example, I'm going to type motion and you can see that our text has been updated and you can select whatever font you want. You can also upload your own font. But for this one, I'm going to use this luckiest guy. And if you want, you can play around with the depth. You can increase it however you want. Also for the materials, you can change the color from here and you can pick whatever color you want. But for this one, let's set this to white. Now I want to scale this down so I can just simply select the scale tool or you can press the shortcut R and you can click and just scale this however you want or you can enter any specific value something like 0.6 over here and you can see that it will update the text just like that. Now over here you can see it will show all the elements that you have imported or created and it will show them in this hierarchy. So for example if you want to type one more text what you can do is you can select this you can copy and then you can just paste this by pressing Ctrl V and now you can see we have two texts and you can just type whatever you want over here and I'm going to type nations something like this. Now you can see that we have these two individual element and we can also combine them into a single one for that what we can do is we can go to add and let's create an empty node. Now I'm going to select both of them by holding down the shift key and you can drag them inside this one. And now I can rename this by right clicking and let's rename this and you can call this text. Now if you want to move this all along then you can just simply select this and you can see that it will select both of them at once and you can move them however you want. Now if you want to move individual text then you can select individual one from the hierarchy something like this and you can move them whatever you want. So over here we have our text and let me just quickly select them and I'm going to just move them somewhere over here. Now let's add more elements. Now if you want to import any element from the library, then you can just click over here and you can see we have a bunch of different models. You can also search from here if you want. Let's search for a laptop because we are going to create a banner and over here we have a bunch of different elements. I am going to use this one. So let's click over here. You can see that our laptop has been imported and you can also see it over here. Now I'm going to move it to something like this and let's place it somewhere around here 
we can also move this down and i think this is quite big so we can scale this down so you can select the scale tool and let's scale this down to somewhere around here and once you're happy with this we can also change its color so what you have to do is just select whatever element you want to change the color and then you can click over materials just edit and from here you can pick whatever color you want let's make the screen black and let's select the wi-fi icon and let's edit this as well so i'm going to change a couple of these colors let's make this white let's select these buttons and let's make them black as well so let's go to edit and turn this black let's select the keyboard bottom and in the same way you can edit whatever colors you want you can see that how easy it is to change these colors and let's select the top and i'm going to just edit this color and let's make this blue as well so here you can see we have added the colors and I think this is looking fine. Let's add more elements to our scene. So in order to do that, let's go to the library. And from here, you can drag whatever you want. Let's add some thunder elements. So let's search for them and you can just click and you can see that all of them will be added to your scene and you can move them wherever you want or you can rotate them something like this. Now let's add some pre-built elements. So let's go under the library and from here we can switch to the scenes and right now i am going to search for edit and you can see that it will show me a couple of examples so you can see that all of these are pre-made and some of them have animations in them if you want to use them and for this example i'm going to use this one so let's select this and you can see that it will import the entire scene just like that now again in the panel you can see we have a bunch of different elements and if you want you can just delete whatever you want so for example i don't want this thing at the back so you can select it from here right click and let's delete this and i don't want this one as well so let's select the darts and i'm going to delete this one rest of the elements you can play around with their position and rotation however you want and you can also notice that we have a camera in our scene let me just quickly delete this because we are going to add our own camera so now to add a camera just go to add and from here you can select the camera now in order to switch to the camera view you can click over here and you can see that right now we are seeing what our camera is looking at and you can play around with its property you can rotate it however you want so let's set this to zero and rotation i'm going to set this to 180 now you can play around with its position and you can move it far something like this or you can go outside the camera by pressing the exit and you can use these arrows and you can just move your camera to wherever you want over here you can see we are able to see a little bit of preview of what our camera is looking at so let's place it over here and let's switch to the camera let's use these properties to match our scene something like that so over here you can see we have all the elements and let's quickly arrange them and see what looks good let's go under the composition and from here i want to delete this panel so let's select the programming window and let's delete this now I'm going to just quickly align these elements and let's place them to somewhere around here. Now this is completely up to you. You can place them however you want based upon whatever you are creating. Now we can also add some elements in the foreground. So let's go to add and I'm going to add a cylinder and let's scale this up to something like this and let's make this smaller just like that. Now let me just quickly fast forward this and I'm going to just quickly arrange these elements in a nice way. So now I have arranged all the elements how I like. Now once you're happy with your scene, you can change the color of this backdrop which is behind our scene. So if I go outside of this camera, now you can see we have this very nice backdrop at the back. You can select this and again if you want to change its color, let's go under the edit and from here you can pick whatever you want. Let's make this blue as well. Now here you can see we have the light source. Now I'm going to select this and let's delete this for now so right click delete and if you want to add lighting on your own then you can go to add and just like any other 3d software you can add a directional light point light or spotlight so for this one i'm going to add a direction one so over here we have our light and if you want you can just move it around now you can do all of the things for example you can change the light angle so now you can see the light is falling from the top something like this if you want you can just go inside the camera just to look how your scene is looking you can use these sliders to make the light and you can find a nice angle 
Over here, you can see we have these shadows. Now, if you want to make them soft, then you can use the slider for the shadow softness. And you can see that now the shadows are much softer. If you want to increase the intensity of light, then you can use this parameter. But for this one, I'm going to just set this to one because we are going to add more lights to our scene. And let's go to add. And again, from here, I'm going to add a point light just like this. Now let's move this to the top and let's play around with its position. Now I'm going to increase its intensity and I'm going to just place it somewhere around here. And we can do the same thing over here as well. So I'm going to select the light, press Ctrl C, Ctrl V to duplicate the light. And now I am going to move one of them over here and let's place this somewhere around here. So once you're happy with your scene, we can add some animation to these elements. So in order to do that over here, you can see we have the timeline and we can add keyframes for each of these properties. And first I'm going to change a couple of the settings over here. So FPS, I'm going to change this to 24 and end frame. I'm going to set this to 60. Once we're done with this, we are ready to add some animation. So in order to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select each of these individual elements. So let's start from the text. So I'm going to select my text first and we can just open up the graph editor by clicking over here and make sure that auto key is on so that the keyframes will be added automatically. Now I'm going to move my indicator to somewhere over 30 and we can just move this to the top little bit, something like this. Now, if I click on the Y property, you can see that it has created a very nice curve and I'm going to move this to 60 and I want this to go back to its original position. So in order to do that, I'm going to select this keyframe and let's right click copy. And now you can just paste it just like that. Now you can press space bar to play your animation and you can see that our text is moving to its original location just like this. Now, if you want to loop this, then you can enable the loop as well. Now your animation will keep on playing and you can tweak it further. So just like any other software, you can see if I click on these handles, it will give you option to edit the curves and you can just make them however you want. So if I change the curve and make it something like this, so you can see that now our animation will start slowly and then it will shoot up very fast, something like this, and it will ease down at the end as well. But for this one, I'm going to make this simple curve and in the same way, you can add animation to all the elements. So let's select this one and let's move to somewhere around 30 and let's move this to the top. So I'm going to click on this circle and let's move this to the top just like that. Now we can click on the Y position and we can again press Ctrl C to copy it and just paste it so that it will move back to its original position just like that. Now, if you want to offset it, then you can just move this down as well. So if you select this, you can move the keyframe from here as well. So you can see that now it will move in opposite direction. Now let's add some rotation to some of these. So let me just quickly select this one. And in order to animate it, let's move this to somewhere in the 30 second and let's select the rotation tool. And now I'm going to just rotate it something like this. And at the end, we can just copy all of these keyframes, press Ctrl C and press Ctrl V to paste them at the end. So now you can see we have this very subtle animation. And in the same way, I'm going to add the animation to all of these elements quickly. So now I'm done with the animation. And if I press play, you can see that all the elements are moving and this will move in a continuous loop. Now again, if you want to play around with their position, then you can do that. If you want to add more elements, then you can access the Enrich library, which is over here. And you can see that how fast it is. You can animate whatever elements you want. And with some basic knowledge of keyframes, you can create some interesting animations. So once you're done with this, you can export your animation. But before that, you can change a couple of these settings. So if I click over this, you can get rid of this grid and you can turn this off. You can also play around with the environment lighting. You can make this brighter or darker, however you want. You can also play around with the light type and you can change it from solid color to environment map, however you want. But for this one, I'm going to stick with solid color. So once you're done with everything, you can export this into a video or a image format. So all you have to do is just go to the export and from here, it will provide a bunch of different options and you can pick whatever you want. I'm going to export this as a video. So let's click on the video. 
and from here you can select custom presets for instagram post or story whatever you want but for this one i'm going to set this to 1920 by 1080 and after that just click on export and it will start rendering and you can see that it will take only a couple of seconds and once it is done it will download a video file which you can preview something like this and you can use it wherever you want so in this way you can use pixcap to create some 3d scenes like these and the best thing about pixcap is that it is very easy to use you don't have to install any kind of software all you need is a web browser and an internet connection and since it is online you can access your projects from anywhere in the world not only this they also have a pretty amazing library of 3d assets which you can use and edit however you want and you can use them in your scenes overall it is very helpful and it is very easy to use so if you want to access it then you can click the link in the description below you will get 20% off on the pro subscription and if you want you can try out the free version as well all the details are in the description below so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one